a pastor. I want to say that a pastor is a servant of God and humanity, called to serve, not to survive. A pastor has a lot of expectations. The Bible says not many of you should desire to be teachers, for when you are teachers, you will be judged more severely. The qualifications of pastors are clearly written in the book of First Timothy chapter 3 and Titus chapter 3. He should be above reproach, a man of one wife. He should not be given to love money, neither should he be overindulgent in alcohol. A pastor should be a role model. He should be above reproach. But all these qualifications, who among the pastors can attain? I want to say there is an ideal of a pastor and the reality of the pastor. The reality is they are human beings, fallen, sinful, but they should strive to attain the ideal. Those qualities that are there recorded in scripture. There are many titles of a pastor. A pastor is a preacher of the gospel, first and foremost. Number two, an administer of the holy sacraments. There are two holy sacraments according to the Anglican Church. The sacrament of baptism and the sacrament of the holy communion. Number three, a pastor is supposed to be a teacher and educator. It's supposed to teach people of Christian doctrine. And it's supposed to exhort people on scripture. Give people hope. He is also supposed to engage in the presence ministry. But including being present to people at difficult times, when they are paining, when they are suffering. He is supposed to manifest the presence ministry. And his presence is evident also during pastoral visitation. He's supposed to know the sheep by name, visit them by home, know their situation, pray for them, and above praying for them, be with them at difficult times. A pastor is supposed to embody the Christian teachings, but in reality, sometimes we fall short. The expectations of the pastors are enormous, but sometimes the reciprocation is low. Sometimes a very thankless profession. We stand, as ministers, we are middle ground. We stand with people who are high in the church hierarchy. But sometimes when a clergy fails or falls, he is abandoned by everybody. Not only the congregation, but also the church hierarchy. Very few institutions think of rehabilitating those who have fallen and think of counseling. Sometimes they are just transferred and not dealt with. They are not considered as human beings. I want to say that being a pastor, we should always stand with fellow priests, no matter their circumstances. We should pray with them, empathize, and be with them, no matter their situation. We should stop being judgmental and talking ill of the rest. Somebody said it's only in the Christian army where we shoot one another, antagonize and do things that make them not succeed. May we stand with one another. May we have a peer review to check our excesses. And above all, as pastors, let's stand together. Let's pray for one another. Let's encourage one another. Let's encourage fellowship co-working, not competing. Let us stand with each other. It is my prayer for the pastors, especially during their difficult times in life, when nobody stands with them. May the Lord encourage all the pastors, wherever they are, both abroad and here in Kenya. May the Lord enable these pastors to pray. And let's remember that the marks of the pastors are six. Number one, pastors encounter, must have self-sacrifice. Number two, pastors must encounter sometimes fatigue. They are tired. 
And if you do not replenish yourself when you are tired with God's word and rest, sometimes we may indulge in sinful acts and alcoholism and other things. A pastor may be lonely because we, are, we lead in the front. No one expects us to show weaknesses. We are very lonely. Have close relationship with God. Always pray and also have friends that you can share and be with them. Number four, pastors will encounter failures and even sin. When we encounter failures, people will leave us. Let us always keep strong relationship with family, keep strong relationship with few individuals who can come and stand with us. Most of the hypocrites will leave us at our lowest moments. Above all, let's have a people who we are accountable to, spiritual mentors, and people who can counsel, advise, exhort, be close to us. Let's remember that pastors manifest divinity in their service, but they also manifest humanity because of their fallen human natures. Let's be vigilant, let's be prayerful, and above all, let's seek the Lord. Let's be role models. Let's follow Christ as others follow us. And above all, let's be prayerful. Let's seek the face of God. And let's always be in communion and fellowship with God. May the Lord richly bless us, pastors. Let's continue to serve. Let's remember we are called to serve. Let's go ye into the world. Let's not build kingdoms. Let's stand with one another. Let's remember we are co-workers, not competitors. Let's deal with Christians with a sense of justice. And let's stand with the poor and the underprivileged, and let's serve all without discrimination. In the name of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.